3, explaining the hardware that I'm going to use to demonstrate the sounds. By the way, here's the sound. So that's, that's uh, it's got a, yeah. I'm guessing a thousand, at least a thousand different sounds. For example, that's a different sound. Okay, to the lava lamps, um, kind of go in the order that I purchased them. Um, I think this was the first one and this one. I was lucky I got a, this is a grande from a local Lamps Plus store. I'm really glad I didn't mail order that. Uh, mail order is very risky. I've had less than a 50% success rate on mail order lava lamps. So it's very low. Unless you want to work on them, don't order them by mail. Buy them. Walmart sells them. Fry sells them. Um, lamps Plus. <clears throat> really happy with this. To the naked eye, this is very, very bright red. Dark glow, lava. It actually, it looks like a lava. Melted lava rock. You'd see in Hawaii. I mean, that's the color of it. Um, in the video, it washes out, it gets more like a real bright to yellowish. Behind it, I have a blue lava lamp like this one over here. So these are the these are the called the uh, 14 inch lavas, 32 ounce. Uh, they're fairly cheap. I had to re this was an original. I had to rework these and re, re and these two. And when you re what I mean by rework, they came in cloudy and you couldn't see the lava the wax so we ha I poured out the liquid and put in spring water, Epsom salts and soap. Uh, quite a balance between those three. The water, the Epsom salt was okay. It was the soap that was the hardest to, and I learned just to use one tiny drop and, and I haven't mastered the soap but <clears throat> if you go to, maybe if you hit three, three uh, drops it might just, just either destroy it or whack it out that you have to Actually, we melt it down and pour off the liquid and melt it again. I think that happened to one of these. I basically, so like I said, these were both cl cloudy. I poured off the liquid. Um, this is an original. This is the best one. These blacks it turned out to be from the 90s. And I believe it's because these use mineral oil. Uh, there's an alcohol based formula. I just don't think that's alcohol. I think it's a mineral oil. Just by the way it moves, it's got higher viscosity than, than the uh, water, so it just has a different look. This red one, this will be the first one I get rid of. Um, this is a same style, but it's a silver base. It has a, a different characteristic. So I'm only going to buy black base from now on. And, and, and Unfortunately, a lot of people know that these are better, the, a higher end ones, so they, they go for higher. They, they go high. It's a purple one. It's like $60 now on eBay. Uh, Sunday. So let's start with this. I reworked this one. I reworked this. Original, original. Reworked. I mean, reworked. I only poured out half the liquid on this, about down to here. And I should have poured out more. This one I kept one inch of the liquid. So there's just a little bit of the original liquid. And I think that just that one inch of the original liquid is enough soap, surfacant that I didn't have to add any. So I didn't have to add any soap to this one. I just added uh, Epsom salts. And you, and you literally add it according, there's a, a lava lamp site, and you literally it, add it with a straw. I didn't like that when I first got into it. I want to measure it you know, by drops, milliliters, ounces, and all that good stuff. But each, I found out, you know, I took very accurate readings of the first one I did, used them on the second one, and it just totally wiped it out. So I found out every lava lamp's got its own characteristic. Uh, by that time I got to the last one, which might have been this one, uh, before this one, but uh, I just put spring water in it, turned it on, and just kind of looked at the size of the bulbs, put a little Epsom in it, and watched the bulb go up a little bit more, and you just take a straw, and you can pour it directly in, but then you get a disturbance here, but you just take a little, take any drinking straw, dip it, it doesn't matter how much you got, sometimes I try to use a lot because I was starting out, but sometimes you use you can just put, I, I would say, an amount equal to five drops in here, and you can actually see it go down and hit the wax and see the wax go crazy. So it's, it's quite a quite a sight just to see the uh, Epsom salt solution. It's a solution of Epsom salt. It's a liquid solution that you can, so you just put it in literally drops, a few drops at a time. Um, same with this one. Just, 
this I didn't have to use so much because I kept one ounce of the original liquid, so that had an, an, enough soap in it. This has got bubbles in it. That might be because, and this one's got bubbles. No, maybe I don't have enough of soap in there, and that one does not have bubbles, and that one does not have bubbles. So I'm I'm keeping my eye on this one. It's uh, it's got a 50 watt bulb. These have 40 watts, and I, and um, I was extremely lucky. I, I bought the bottle. Somebody else drank it. I found a piece of plastic that was about the same size as the bottle and carried it around with me. I knew, you know, I knew to add three sixteenths to the size of the, my template. And in this thrift shop one time, I saw this metal basket that I think was almost made for this bottle. I mean, it, nothing could have been more perfect. It goes in about an inch and a quarter, and then it hits a metal ring down here and stops, and it's very, very snug there. I can pull it in and off, but it's very snug. The socket and the hardware for the light bulb fit within an eighth of an inch of the bottom of this log line. Now, to control the uh, the light and the heat, I use aluminum foil to control the heat. I use paint to control the light, and also I use the paint to control the heat. In some cases, by painting the inside, and I discovered this accidentally on this one. I painted painted the cone to cut down on the brightness and at the same time it cut down on the paint I mean on the heat so this one's getting too hot now so I need to I think it's got the aluminum on it which is which is not helping or not you can't buy a 30 watt bulb in, in the regular size I don't think uh, I know by the time I go to 20 it'd be too cool so the traditional way to control the heat is use a uh, dimmer have a lot of light, so I tr I'm trying to figure out different ways. Um, I don't, even though this is old, I don't, this is not a, I don't consider this a, a special, special or classic, or just a different or different old one. These two I would not touch. These two are, this one just absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to do, because I've already done the foil, I'm going to paint the cone, and that'll cut down on the heat a little bit, sometimes enough. Some of these are painted on the side of the controls. To control the light, I use washers, put washers on top of the bulb, and paint the bulb. So I'm using those different methods. Uh, so there's my lava lamp, the one that I made. It's called the Abs Absolute Vodka. And the reason, you, the yellow is a traditional color because um, they used the yellow in, I think it was a different bottle, but they used yellow in an advertisement from the 70s. And you want it clear because of the writing on, on the bottle. So that uh, I think I need to control the bubbles on this one. 